guys, it's Shondo, and I'm currently really frustrated uh, about myself <laughs> uh, because I captured an episode just five minutes ago and apparently I forgot to uh, change some settings which meant that everything I did was for nothing. So anyway, I'll be doing a quick recap here so you guys will know what uh, what you missed. So uh, here we go. It's mostly story stuff, so uh, we can uh, Two hours go through it pretty quickly. Shots were fired. Brule was under Imperial control. Though a mere skirmish by Empire standards, the raid on Brule would mark Welkin Gunther's first taste of battle and begin his rise to a Galleon hero. A Galleon hero. One man. One Galleon hero. Ready for an adventure of a lifetime. To kick some Imperial ass. Alicia. And get some ass while at it. I thought I would be ready for this. I knew war meant this might happen. It hurts. Seeing my town overrun like this, seeing all those people killed, it's just not right. How could all this happen? It isn't human, Welkin. We look at those birds and see how wild and free they are. But they all have their own territories. If anything threatens their home, they'll risk their lives to defend it. People are animals too. We do what we have to, when we have to. Animals are in a constant struggle to stay alive, but I've also seen them help each other, almost like they were cooperating in order to survive. Cooperating? Yeah, like That's working together. That's why I'm so into studying natural science. That coexistence. I want to know how it works. If we could figure that out, mankind could put it to use for our own survival. That's why I want to be a teacher, so that I can pass that knowledge on to the children. I mean, even if we can't completely eliminate war, at least we might learn to live together as one people. You think so? Welks, look. Martha fell asleep, so that makes me the babysitter. See, Alicia? A cute little boy, boy. Oh, he's adorable. Just like you said, even in war, new life happens all around us. Come here. Look, that's your hometown. Burned to dust? Sunday. It looks great. We'll come back home again. Yes. Yes. Someday soon. I know it. Alright. In March of 1935, the Empire began its invasion across Gallia's eastern border. Maximilian, commander of the Gallian invasion front, built his army around mobile armor. Girlendio and the other fortresses along the border fell to his tanks in quick succession. Bruel's fall in under two hours was typical of villages in the Empire's path, and the road to the capital bore a steady flow of refugees. Yeah, it's uh, quite a lot of episodes now, so... Uh... Randgris, Gallia's capital. A town secure and stable since ancient times. Within its walls stood the castle Randgris, and within its unicorn spire resided Cordelia, Gallia's princess. Supporting Gallia's policy of neutrality was a system of universal conscription. Under it, all schools required military training each year, 
In the event of a war, citizens were then drafted into the militia to defend their country. As the conflict with the East grew worse, both Welkin and Alicia found themselves no exceptions to that fate. Almost there. Oh, well, they're at least spending a lot of time on the story, right? So these are my new digs. Yeah, looking good. Oh, my uniform. I should get changed before reporting in. Better get ready now. Yeah. Looks so eager, that man. Ready to go to war. Layers, binoculars, a compass, and a map. Everything you need for a nice hike. Or combat. Welkin? Can I come in? Yeah, you may, baby. Sure, it's open. Oh, you're already changed too. Let's see. Looking good. Not bad, not bad. You look good, actually. So, how about me? Do I look all right in this? Convincing? You look good. Let's take a look. <laughs> yeah, you look fine. You wear it like a pro. <laughs> you look fine. Really? You're not just saying that? Of course not. You look tough. I like it. Oh, good. I was worried it looked kind of silly. No way. That plating on the back? It's like a coleopterid exoskeleton. Beetle-tastic. Beetle-tastic. That's not really a compliment, I think, but hey. Coleo it was what? meant as a compliment. And did you just say beetle? I uh, do think you said something that girls usually do not like. Uh, Welkin? What kind of girl wants to hear that she looks like a bug? See? Huh? Not just any bug. A rhinoceros beetle. King of the insects. Who wouldn't want that? Not oh, girls. Huh. I guess I'll just try to take that as a very Welkin sort of compliment. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, well, Welkin means well, huh? Tell me about that scarf. You've been wearing it since I met you. Oh, this? It's part of my uniform from the bakery. Is that right? I don't want to forget the time I spent busting my buns baking. I plan buns. to keep wearing it until I can get back to manning the ovens again. That's great. Once you do, I'll be first in line to get some of that bread. Is that a promise? Well, I'll be sure to have plenty of it ready and waiting for you. Absolutely. Hey, if you're ready, we should probably go see the captain now. Knock, knock. Come in. Who's there? Excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> Galleon militia enlistee Welkin Gunther, reporting for duty. Ma'am, Galleon militia enlistee Alicia Melkiot, also reporting Gallian for duty. Galleon militia and Eleanor Barat, Damn. commander of this regiment. Gunther, you're promoted to lieutenant. You'll be leader of Squad 7 now. That was there. fast. Enlistee Melkiot, you're promoted to Sergeant. You'll be under the Lieutenant's command. Understood? Ma'am! What do you know? It is you. Nice coincidence, huh, Welkin? Yeah. You? Fell I you. had no idea that you'd enlisted. Yeah. Now that there's a real war going on, I joined up. Pretty much all the officer and training boys are here just like you. You know each other. Yes, ma'am. We knew each other at university. Welcome was in science, and I was in archaeology. And just look at us now. No archaeology or science. Looks like the two of us are studying war, I guess. Looks that way. War is much cooler. And you. That'll be all for now. There's a strategy briefing later today. But you still have time. Time for you to catch up. You'll be spending a lot of time on the post and in Landbreeze. They'll be your new home, so get to know them. 
That'll be all. Report back in time for the briefing. Until then, you're dismissed. All right. Uh, anyway, so let's see if I can get this working. Oh, tab select. Um, we have got a new tab, which is headquarters. Which means we can, uh, yeah, uh, I'll explain each tab as we go. So we have squad barracks. So we can uh, change equipment on our soldiers and view info on them. So you can see what they like and what they don't like and uh, yeah, that sort of thing. And uh, you can also see, uh, let's see here, what they, uh, what their yeah, stat, uh, abilities are. So in uh, Welkin's case, he's a nature lover and he has a calm heart. So he um, gets a boost when people are around him. Uh, let's see if, uh, let's have another example, Brid Bridget Stark, probably not family from other Stark uh, Game of Thrones related, anywho, so in this case she has a desert allergy, with, which means she, she gets uh, a steady drain of HP while in sandy areas, uh, but she's strong-willed and uh, she acts like the big sister. <sighs> Sorry about that. Wow. So, uh, when she's nearby other shock troopers, she um, gets her abilities enhanced. So, just to give you a, a yeah, a little uh, idea of what you can uh, expect from the barracks. Then we have the command room. So here you can. Uh, Hello, Welkin. Here to fine tune your squad fine-tune your squad so you can recruit people and um, yeah, put them in your squad so um, yeah that's that actually <laughs> come back anytime you need to change your lineup lieutenant yes but oh this is where you can level up your soldiers and here's where you can level up your uh, um, your weapons, armor, your tank, that sort of thing. So it's all pretty uh, self-explanatory. So now we will see something I have not seen either. So um, yeah, let's continue on to the flare gun. Welks. Isara. There you are. I've been looking for you. Hey, East. East. How'd your enlistment go? No problems? I registered as a tank pilot and mechanic. They all look so happy to enlist. It's, it's a hopeless cause, actually, because Empire is so much bigger and already winning s so fast, so... Yeah. But hey. Maintaining and operating the Edelweiss will be my responsibility from now on. It's good to have you on board. I think it's nice that we'll all be on the same squad together. I think so too. Yeah. So what are you up to now? The tank's hangar space is just through here. I was just carrying some Ragnite fuel back. It's used to power the tank, and also for the turret-mounted cannon rounds. I guess I'm just more used to seeing it in street lamps and medical compounds. Seems like everything is Ragnite powered these days. That stuff is everywhere. Not enough of it for some people, though. It's the source of a lot of conflict. They say the Empire's invading only to get at all the Ragnite in Gallian soil. <laughs> so, okay, yeah, Ragnite is just uh, oil for. Uh... Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I had something to give you, Welks. Here, have baby. What's this? Father's flare gun. It was in the barn, but I thought you might have some use for it. Another hand-me-down. I gave it a once-over. It might be old, but it's still serviceable. I didn't mean... I just can't believe I'm a tank operator now. 
thank you for this, Ys. I'll do a spot check on the Edelweiss now, to make sure it's ready to go at any time. All right, we'll get going for now then. See you later. See ya. A new episode has been added. So I think... Uh, there's a lot of story. It's uh, pretty deep. I'll cut to the chase. Here's your mission. The Great Vassal Bridge was just taken by the Empire. It's a key strategic position. The Great Vassal Bridge? It's a major drawbridge crossing the canal in Vassal, just outside the capital. That bridge is a part of the central transit artery, leading into Randgreaves. Our mission is to take it back. Blow it up! The Empire has been running a blitz, with their shock troops outrunning their defense. Our 3rd Regiment will retake the bridge before defensive reinforcements can arrive. How quaint! The militia holding a little strategy meeting of its own! How long were you planning on hiding out in here, Barat? <laughs> My apologies, sir. We'll depart soon. Whatever! They're just country mice. It's not like they'll be much help. More help, perhaps, than your army unit that couldn't hold the bridge in the first place. Oh, you burned. You burned. Hey! Regardless, Vassal remains a critical position. We'll reclaim it immediately. We can try, at least. Well, all good. See that you do. Sore loser, dead guy. Who is that? General Damon, commander of the Central Forces. A douche. Central Forces? That's the army branch the militia was folded into, right? That's right. They say the general's an aristocrat. He looks down on the common militia. That doesn't make any sense. Right. Now that the war's begun, we all need to band together and fight to keep Gallia safe. Who cares at this point whether you're in the army or the militia? It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Gentlemen, let's return to the mission. We'll begin by taking back the western bank to gain a foothold for reclaiming the bridge. Lieutenant Gunther, I'm assigning Squad 7 to this mission. It's your first maneuver, so be smart. Yes, Captain. The other squads are on patrol. Stay sharp and be ready to help take back the bridge. I'm counting on all of you out there. Now move out. Skirmish is stabbed. Okay. So, uh... It's possible to grind, uh, if you need to, need to do so. Okay, that's really good to know, actually. Alright, so, um... I think I'll end the episode here. We have covered a lot of ground. We've seen a lot of story. Um, we checked out the headquarters. So yeah, I think this would be the opportune time to uh, end the episode. Maybe try a skirmish next time. Hmm. I will see. Anyway, I want to thank you, the viewer, so much for watching. And I'll be seeing you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.
Hey you guys, thank you so much for watching my video, but believe it or not, I have even more of them, so be sure to check those out as well. And if you like my stuff, just subscribe, doesn't cost a thing.